What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. And a shocking move. Rockets general manager Dale Moore has stepped down from his position. He's also served as the vice president of basketball operations. And he stepped down from that position also. As Rockets owner Timothy Fertitta and Dale Moore didn't see eye to eye on who would be the Rockets next head coach for this upcoming season. From what I'm hearing, Dale Moore wanted Tyron Lue, who has now been announced as the next head coach of the Los Angeles Clippers today. Dale Moore wanted him to be the head coach of the Houston Rockets as it was uh, reported a couple of days ago that Tyron Lue was the front runner. Also, before this process started of the Rockets looking for a new head coach, the owner came out publicly and said that he would not be involved in the decision of who to hire as the Rockets head coach. He said that was Dale Moray's decision because he had expertise in hiring NBA head coaches and that him himself being Tillman Fertitta is basically a businessman, a restaurant owner, didn't have the experience, didn't, didn't, didn't know the, uh, the intricacies of how to hire an NBA head coach. But the man did a, a 180. <laughs> he did a 180, and now he's got it. Put his thumbprints on uh, who should be the Rockets' next head coach. Because what I'm hearing that he wants Jeff Van Gundy to be the next head coach of the Houston Rockets. Dale Murray, knowing that his owner was going to overrule him and bring in Jeff Van Gundy, stepped down as the general manager of the Houston Rockets. Didn't want to be tied in with Jeff Van Gundy. As his philosophy and Jeff Van Gundy's philosophy don't coincide. They're basically polar opposites. As Daryl Morey is a fan of the, the three ball, the layups, no mid-range game. Jeff Van Gundy is a little bit more old school. He believes in the mid-range game. He believes in throwing it into the post if you got a uh, big man that can score inside. He believes in shooting threes but not living and dying by the three. He believes in playing defense. And he believes that uh, controlling possessions. And Dal Morey is more in, fan, uh, in, uh, uh, in favor of an up-tempo type of game where the more possessions you get in the NBA game, the better. That's not uh, Jeff Van Gundy's philosophy, ladies and gentlemen. His philosophy is to limit their possessions, play defense, and win on defense by limiting the possessions not only for your opponent but for yourself. He wants this game to be 93-91. Dal Morey. Wants the game to be 93-91, but after the third quarter, going into the fourth quarter. And that's the difference in the offensive philosophy of Daryl Morey and Jeff Van Gundy. This all got tied into Tyron Lue uh, getting named the head coach of the Los Angeles Clippers. He was the front runner for the Houston Rockets job, and I think that's the job he was going to take. But, again, Terman, Tillman Fertitta came in. And uh, after initially saying that he was going to pretty much be the guy to sign off on it and Daryl Moore would make the decision on who would be the Rockets' next head coach, he came in and put his thumbprints on the scales of the decision to hire or not to hire for the next coach of the Houston Rockets. Once again, Daryl Moore is out. He's gone. He ain't got to go home, but he got to get the hell up out of here. That's basically what... Tillman Fertitta told Dale Moore today as he stepped down after 13 seasons as the Houston Rockets general manager. The most successful season they had was the team that took the Golden State Warriors to the brink of extinction. Took them to a game seven. Was actually up three games to two before Chris Paul, a.k.a. CP3, hurt his hamstring. Therefore, couldn't play in game six and game seven. But even though with him out, the Rockets had their chances. They had a big lead at halftime in game six, but couldn't hold on. And had a big lead in game seven and could hold on as Golden State went on to the NBA Finals and captured that third championship in four years. But that's what's going on, ladies and gentlemen. And like I said, what I'm hearing is Jeff, it's Jeff Van Gundy's job to turn down as the next head coach of the Houston Rockets. He's got the support of ownership and management. As, um, again, Dale Morey didn't want to be tied with a coach that didn't share the same philosophy that he, he uh, shared. Didn't want his fate tied into a coach that he didn't want to bring in as he wanted to bring in Tyron Lue 
the owner overruled him, so he stepped down and left his position as general manager and vice president of basketball operations. The Rockets right now are in a crossroads right now. If they make the wrong decision in this particular hiring as a head coach, their franchise could take a big, big step down, a big drop. They're on the top of that, uh, they're on the edge of that cliff right now. In one wrong move, they could be falling off that cliff, heading, heading to, a, to a splattery, splattery, a splattery, getting, head, heading to a, getting splattered on the ground if they're not careful. So we'll see what happens and we'll see what transpires. But again, Dal Morey out as general manager of the Houston Rockets. Again, he served the team for 13 seasons. Many of those seasons they made the playoffs. Always one of the top teams in the NBA, but they could never get over that hump. They had many superstars, many uh, combinations, but they did, didn't just not, they didn't just work. They just didn't work. As the Yao Ming, Tracy McGrady experiment did not work. The James Harden, Dwight Howard experiment did not work. The James Harden, Chris Paul experiment did not work. And now the James Harden, Russell Westbrook experiment has not worked thus far after one season as they came up short in the second round, losing to the eventual champion Los Angeles Lakers four games to one in the second round of the NBA playoffs. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what transpires. But you heard it here first. It's Jeff Van Gundy is the front runner to become the Rockets' next head coach. GM Dale Moore is out based on that decision and based on that pursuit of Jeff Van Gundy. He's out. He stepped down as the Rockets' general manager. That's for this uh, move brought another move, and that, that move was Tyron Lue becoming the next head coach of the Los Angeles Clippers after uh, – Looking as looking at the Houston Rockets as a job that he was pretty much in prime position to take, and I think he would prefer to take the Houston Rockets position instead of taking the, the position with the Clippers, knowing that the Clippers got rid of his good friend and mentor Doc Rivers. I don't think he really was uh, too crazy. I think he, he took well, obviously he wasn't he, he he would take the job. He took the job, but I I think everything man equal he would prefer to take the rocket job and not be the guy to replace his good friend doc rivers but with the rocket situation in flux and you got the owner and a general manager fighting over the head coach he decided to stay where he was at he's in a uh, he's on a, he's coaching a team that's a uh definitely um a championship contender next season if they uh hold their hand that they had this past season they got some chemistry issues in the locker room, but the talent is there to win a championship. So he's going to stay right there. But I, I think he preferred to go to Houston and not be the guy to, to replace his good friend and mentor, Doc Rivers. But he's seen the situation in, in, with the Rockets in turmoil, in a chaotic situation. And uh, he saw that um, GM Dalmore had stepped down, and he knew that Dalmore was the one that wanted him there, was the one that was fighting for him to be the next head coach, and that the owner wanted – Jeff Van Gundy as the uh, next head coach, he seized the opportunity and took the uh, Los Angeles Clipper job, who was all who, who was always had him on the top of their list to replace uh, Doc Rivers. Let me know what you think in the comment section about Rockets GM Dale Morey stepping down from his position and Tyron Lue becoming the next head coach of the Los Angeles Clippers, and Jeff Van Gundy leaving the TV booth to once again become the head coach of the Houston Rockets. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section. Hit the like button if you like the content of this video. This is JB Sports, the man, the myth, the legend. I holla.